Marking A. Marking B. Frame. And background action. And action. You're on set of Cubicle Warriors. You're yeah. Yeah. You're obviously, you know, one of the, the main characters. Tell me about your character. Uh, I play the part of Neil Ramsey. He is a very smart, loyal, good guy who believes in conscious banking. And then when he finds out that um, the firm where they have these, they've gotten these great jobs are actually out to uh, kind of screw over a bunch of students, uh, he makes it his mission to right their wrongs. Okay, in a comedic way, obviously. In a very comedic way. Hijinks and hilarity will ensue. Tell me what's your character. Uh, Isaac is uh, a very gregarious sort of idiot savant with the focus on the word idiot, I think. Um, he's actually quite smart. He can do uh, pretty much all the math that is required to work in high finance in his head. Um, he's also got a big uh, a father who's deeply entrenched in the finance world that he sort of feels like he has to live up to. So uh, to mark his own path, he's developed a very sort of uh, hilarious hip-hop persona um, uh, in order to sort of set himself apart. So he's, he, he's, uh, uh, he's, like I said, he's pretty gregarious. I play a guy who's uh, trying to scam the system, uh, the student loan system especially, and uh, put millions in his own pocket. And uh, I get busted by these two young men who turn out to be very funny, but uh, uh, in the film they're, uh, the, they're in some jeopardy always because they're in danger of being found out by me and my henchmen. This cast is a lot of fun. We basically are improv all the time. Uh, and I'm working with actor Brandon Furla, who actually we met years ago when he was firing me on billable hours. So it's all coming back together. If there's a show that's Canadian, you're pretty much in it. I mean, uh, keep thinking that way. Make sure everyone uh, feels that way. Uh, yeah, no, I've, 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 uh, I've been lucky. I've had a good, uh, I've had a good run. Well, I sound like I'm retiring now. You have a partner in crime, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Tell me about him. He's all right. Um, there he is. Uh, no, Michael and I, yeah. We, we actually, we met 15 years ago on a Fruit Roll-Ups commercial, and then I did a little stint on his show, uh, Life with Derek, and we become, quickly became surrogate best friends. Um, we'll s quickly drop that, I'm sure, when the movie ends, but for now, we're just having a blast. Yeah, that's fine. We, we've agreed to it. Do you find there's a certain camaraderie amongst Canadian actors? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, like a small incestuous family. Uh, you're always running into the same people, especially in the world of comedy, where you'll constantly be running uh, up against, you know, the same people playing different characters, and like Brandon, Brandon's kind of walked off the set of billable hours, and we've been in the CBC family for a while, because I did Being Erica and um, Insecurity, and so you see the same folks over and over, and it's nice. It's really nice to be able to connect on, um, on a film when you travel so much. Comedy will always definitely, I know it's probably what I'm best at. Um, but uh, I would love to do. Hey, Laura. Uh, I would love to do some dramatic stuff. Not like I, I, I'll never be that really uh, uh, intense, like method guy. But I should say like dramedy stuff, um, like a show like uh, Parenthood, where it's sort of it's a good mix, drama and comedy, and not. I'll never be an action star. Never say never. Never say die. Never say die. There's a lot of really funny jokes, and it's a clean story, and it's got a really great cast that's all delivering a ton of hilarious stuff. So uh, we, that's why I wanted to do it.